Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to frame around the inside of this garage door because in order to hang the garage door itself, you need wood to anchor to. And first thing we got to do is take down these boards we had up temporarily. So let's do that. There you go. Let's get started. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification because I go live every so often and that way you can join in. So the first thing I got to do is find the center of this door opening. Um, I'm going to pull a tape, but it looks like it's about right here. So I'm going to get a measurement from here to the top of the ceiling. And then that's going to be my block going there. And then I got these side boards. I actually already got those pre-cut. And they're going to run up and they'll stop about right here somewhere. I'm going to do that on each side and then run a 2 by 6 right in between the blocking. So I will show you how to do all that. It's pretty simple, but... I want to make a good video for you folks. All right, so if you look here, I got all the boards already pre-painted and that way it's way easier to do it on the ground than it is after they're up. But I'll have to go through and patch it up after the installation of the door's done. So I'm going to take these boards out there and get them set up. And I've got this one here, which is our center board for the one I told you goes in the middle. But it's way longer, obviously, than what I need but I gotta get that measurement and get it cut. Let's do it. All right, our measurement's 23 and 3 eighths, and I'm going to be using this framing square to cut my two by 10 for that center block I was telling you about. So a little tip, it's easier to pre-start your nails on the ground than it is trying to hold the block up there where you want it and then nailing it. Okay, I'm up here now in the center of the garage door and we're gonna see if the block fits. Already made a center mark and it looks like we're good to go. Right here's my center mark. And that's my center line and it looks pretty good. All right, it's all nailed up and now we gotta get these edges done and I will be grabbing them right now. I have those pre-painted back here. All right, got the side here on and now this side is done as well. So you don't have to nail the heck out of it, just every you know foot and a half or so, put a couple nails. Most of the pressure on these are down so. It's not like it's gonna pull it off the wall or anything. And uh, I'll put more nails in that one at some point, but I'm gonna put this one here to fill in that and this one on this side. And that's really just for uh, looks to make it trimmed out. Those in the middle don't really do anything. So I will get these middle ones on. All right, let's see what we got across here. Looks like we got, let's go with 91 and 5 eighths. All right, so we're gonna cut this 91 and 5 eighths just like our measurement said. Got the tape pulled across here and 91 and 5 eighths on that one. We're gonna pull 91 and 5 eighths on this one. Cause they both are the same. Then I, you can use a speed square on this, but I got a framing square handy. My speed square is out in the truck. So we'll make that line. Then we'll make this line. Now we got some nice straight lines to go with. Okay, this is the final product. I went ahead and put a coat of paint over it so it's nice and snow white. I don't think anybody can complain about that. Um, so it covered up all the nails and everything so it's nice and clean looking. Um, so up here, 
This uh, was all kind of uh, nasty looking before, but it's nice and clean now. So that is it guys. That's how you frame up for your actual garage door where it anchors to the wall. This is the garage door already installed at the house I live in. As you can see, that was taken clear up to the ceiling, which if you go about right here, that's eight foot. So I'm actually not gonna run this one the same distance as this one. And if you go here, this is what holds in the center. And this side, you know, same song and dance, so. So what I did is put all the plywood back up over the opening, so that way no rain or anything can blow in and hit the uh, fresh drywall and paint. So that way I'm just protecting it until I get the official garage door on. And that's all I got in this video, and I will see you on the next day. Peace!